What is up guys? You may have noticed I recently changed the channel name. Now it is Herping Florida with Anthony Damiani. I might change this again in the future, but uh, I like it right now. Anyway, I'm at the Black Hammock Wilderness area and I'm gonna start looking for interesting herps. So I'll let you know if I find anything. This is our first find of the day. A pretty small southern toad. This is about a third of the size that they'll reach. I found him while flipping a log, so I know he lives there and I will go put him back. So this area I'm at looks like it was recently mowed. All that greenery back there is where they stopped. So there's a lot of downed trees. I flipped under this little piece of bark and I found this guy Eastern narrowmouth toad so these guys are still able to use this recently disturbed environment as a place to live even though it doesn't look really pretty it's important for plant growth so one day this part here will look like that part back there and be nice and healthy it's important to always put their hide back before you put the animal back, because they could get squished. He'll figure it out. There he goes. So I just found a baby green anole. I see baby brown anoles all the time, but not the baby greens. And don't worry, I'm not hurting him. I'm going to let him go where I found him, but it's pretty nice to see these guys as brown anoles will often eat them. So, I'm going to go put you back, little buddy, okay? I'm holding you really gently. There you go. You can see he has a completely regrown tail. It does not retain the pattern on his back. What are you doing? You digging? I don't get to observe these guys' behavior very often because they usually just run away from me. But this one doesn't seem to mind me watching him. Well, you're in my shadow now. Where are you going? Oh. Now he sees me. So this is interesting. I'm on a very large boardwalk. And I just noticed that there is a black racer all the way on the top of this tree. What are you doing up here? Better not drop my phone. Hello. What are you hoping to catch up here? Brown and all? Green and all? If I can see you, you better believe they can. I could probably pick them up, but there's no point. I don't really get to show off this species with my phone very often because they usually are very skittish and just leave. But he seems content to hang up here. So I'm going to just leave him. Bye, dude. It is the next day. I didn't see anything else after that black racer. So today I'm at the Lake Harney Wilderness area. This is where I found that corn snake a couple weeks ago that needed some help shedding. I'm looking for box turtles mainly today. But I've also seen a bobcat here before and there's plenty of other cool snakes I could see. I don't know if you guys can hear all those green tree frogs behind me, but pretty annoying. Anyway, I will let you guys know when I find something. So, I don't really know what this is. It's some kind of worm. It has a really weird shaped head. Um, it's pretty cool looking. I thought it was like a tiny snake at first, but it's not. 
I'll try to identify whatever this is later and I'll put it in the video, but I've certainly never seen anything quite like it. I'm not going to touch it because I don't know if it's dangerous or not, but it's cool looking. That's a southeastern five-lined skink. A very common lizard that I have not been able to show on the channel very often because I can never catch them. Maybe may be hard to see on this one, but I believe part of its tail is blue. When they're a bit younger, the entire tail is blue. And it's an attraction to predators to go after their tail. So if they lose their tail, they can just grow it back. As they get older, their head will turn bright red, and the rest of their body becomes a dull brown. So it's a cool lizard. I wish I could catch them for you guys, but I have not been able to do that yet. This one doesn't know I'm here though, so maybe I'll get a chance to actually grab him and then show him on my phone. Right now I'm just using my camera. Pretty cool lizard. So this is the same species as the one I just showed you guys. You can see he has a completely red head and a dark brown body. So this is a very large southeastern five-lined skink. Anyway, they lose all of those cool colors as juveniles when they get to this size. So, pretty cool lizard. Just found another black racer. The one I found yesterday in a tree was very strange. They don't usually climb, and if they do climb, they don't climb that high. So this is typical what you'll see. This is also the most common snake in Florida. They're non-venomous, but usually very defensive and very fast. I was just about to leave, but I found a box turtle crossing the road. This is the thing I was looking for today. It looks kind of terrible, but I finally got one. I'm going to move him out of the road for a second because there's a car coming. Oh, that's awesome. I've been looking for box turtles forever. I can tell this turtle is a male because the plastron is concave instead of convex. But also, male box turtles have beautiful yellow uh, colored legs. And he doesn't want to come out, which is understandable, but... I have been looking everywhere for these guys. I'm so happy to finally see one again. They're a really cool species of turtle. I don't get to see them very often. They're just really stunning to look at. Well, I've held onto this turtle long enough. He's very scared. He's closed up the opening to his shell. And I'm gonna go let him go. I think he was actually going the opposite direction and then turned around, but there's a fence over there, so he's not gonna be able to make it anyway. So I'm gonna just let him go here and hopefully he doesn't try to go backwards. Because there's just a fence there. He will not be able to pull that off. So anyway, I got the target species I was looking for after I left the place I was at. Pretty awesome.